That right there is the remains of uh, a few different deer. I get deer donated to me all the time by local hunters and friends. Uh, this was given to me a few months back uh, by my friends Lance and Daniel at the Sky Forger Pack. You can look them up on YouTube. I'll provide a link in the video description. I've had that frozen for a while and uh, waiting for the dogs to eat. We've got them right here right now. They are just in the kennel so I can shoot the intro to the video. It's my Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan to the far left, 11 month old Honey Badger, 11 month old Kratos, two year old K-Bar, and these two on the end here are Toki and Winter, both are uh, five months old. This is going to be a pack feeding videos. I use these to help develop a healthy pack hierarchy uh, amongst my dogs. I find it, uh, it, it helps them uh, when it comes to socializing too with uh, dogs we encounter off leash and you, you can see that in many of my off leash videos. It puts the dogs in a stressful situation and teaches them uh, the proper skills for interacting and uh, taking care of that. A lot of this is still frozen. It's only been thawing for a couple of hours. So that's why you'll see some big masses of it there. I like to give it to them a little bit frozen like this so we it kind of keeps the flies and stuff off of it while they're eating it. And then if there's anything left over when they're done, I'll just refreeze it and give it to them uh, later on. Winter's getting beautiful. K-Bar bringing his piece over here to tell me thanks. Good boy. Yes, you are. Get yourself a piece of liver there, huh? I like to touch and handle my dogs when they're eating. It teaches them not to be food aggressive. I have a lot of videos on the channel talking about that. It's a good boy. CK bars, uh, Kratos is getting big. So is the badge. Is that Mr. Kurgan? Your badge get something tasty this winter. Of course, Mr. Toki. Again, I like to regularly do that. It desensitizes them to human touch when they're eating. You know, it's especially important if you have children in the house. As a former animal warden, I've, I've taken plenty of bite reports from uh, kids, uh, you know, in situations that could have been uh, avoided if people had just put a little, a little forethought into it. That's Kurgan uh, telling Toki there, that's his big ball of fat and he's not sharing it. <laughs> now, none of that is uh, aggression. That's all canine communication. That's how they talk. Kratos, K-Bar, and uh, Honey Badger are still blowing uh, the last vestiges of their winter coat. So you'll see some of the light hair around K-Bar's neck and along uh, Badger's body and you'll see little tufts of it by uh, Kratos' ears. Even Kurgan has a couple of tufts on his back and rear legs. Right 
there that was uh, Kratos uh, telling Winter that's his pile. Winter's like, okay, I got one over here. Of course, being August, we have all kinds of uh, bees here. So that's what you see flying around our bees. just that time of year. That's uh, Kratos uh, telling Toki that's his piece he took over there. Buddy. Again, this beat was uh, donated to me. I get uh, deer donated to me all the time from uh, various hunters I know in the area it allows them to uh, utilize all the game that they use uh, the, the, the scraps don't go to waste my, my dogs will eat the uh, parts that uh, they don't this though is given to me uh, by uh, Lance and Daniel at the Sky Forger pack they have a, a good source for it over there in Wisconsin scrap over there he wants to see that he's he's hiding it over there by the bucket I bet you he leaves it there and comes over here yep <laughs> he's always tried to stash stuff around the yard for later for the food. Good boy. Badge too. Good girl. And then they goes back to eating just like she did. Again this stuff here you see in Kurgan is just his undercoat that uh, he's still blowing. Yes good boy. I feed my dogs uh, a modified version of the BARF diet. BARF is an acronym uh, for Biologically Appropriate Raw Foods. It's a uh, raw food uh, feeding protocol created by veterinarian Ian Billinghurst. Uh, he created it to address some of the modern skeletal uh, and uh, other diseases that are affecting canines due to a overly processed, uh, nutritionally deficient diet. There are uh, other raw feeding uh, protocols. There's the uh, prey model diet and the RMB diet, RMB being an acronym for uh, raw meaty bones. I recommend any of the three uh, over feeding a commercially processed uh, food diet. But don't take my word for it, I'm uh, just some guy on YouTube. I'm just showing you what I do as somebody with over 30 years experience working with dogs. Uh, I was an animal warden for two decades. Uh, I've uh, bred, rescued, and uh, trained with dogs, you know, uh, over three decades. Good boy. So again, uh, do your research. Uh, I have provided a lot of links in the video description that'll help you do that. Uh, I also have probably over 300 raw feeding videos on YouTube that you can also check out. Again, uh, I personally don't care what you feed your dogs. I'm just trying to show you what uh, I feed mine and uh, re really seems to keep them healthy. Very good boy. It's 
uh, here again telling Kabar uh, he wants that, that big chunk. two unneutered uh, male ducks uh, eating perfectly fine and I'm group feeding as a matter of fact we've got another unneutered male here and uh, Toki the pup back there is also unneutered you don't have to neuter your dogs to make them get along with other dogs it's all about socialization Again, lots of bees. <laughs> Any badger don't care. She's constantly biting bees and getting stung. She, she really doesn't care. Yeah, we get a lot of bees in August here in Minnesota. What kind of bees that like meat. Mr. Toke Man. What's up, homie? You're welcome. I'm going to stay clear of the spray from him shaking that. Telling her that's your piece there, Kratos. For those who will ask, where's uh, Lobo and uh, Ulu? Oh, they're just inside. I gave them their own pieces. These are the dogs I chose to film with today. You know, she's had a couple litters, and uh, Lobo's the OG of the pack. You know, I uh, like to let them just have a couple of, gave them each a couple of prime pieces and uh, a nice quiet place to chew it. I guess uh, age and motherhood has its privilege here. I think so, but then uh, I'm getting to be an old guy, so maybe I'm a little biased. <laughs> maybe I'll have to change my moniker, just some old guy on YouTube. What's up, sweetie? You're off. Dad uh, 
uh, uncle there getting pet by uh, dad and I think I'll steal this piece. You get in your own little pile there, Winter? Here's so. Can't film. Look at that, he gave Toki a different piece of Tik Tokis. Wasn't that polite? Kurgan said, You're not taking mine. Brother and sister there sharing a chunk. Again, all this stuff's still pretty frozen. And we do that because it keeps the uh, insects from being able to uh, really do anything with it. Again, we have a lot of those this time of year. That's one of the nice things about living in Minnesota, though, is uh, for a good chunk of the year, we don't have any insects at all outside. Just because it's too cold. Miss Winter. What's up, homie? It's getting big, isn't he, Toki? For five months? Winter, too. And, uh, badge of winter look pretty similar, except winter is blue and badge is black. This may not show up in the video here, but the dark color of winter is like a blue. <laughs> The gray color. Kurgan taking a piece he wants. Again, that's all canine communication. <coughs> they all want to lay on top of each other over there and eat. You have three unneutered males right here all eating together.
living up to her name honey badger don't care about getting stung by bees <laughs> If you'd like to see the uh, story about how she earned her name, the Honey Badger, uh, the day she was born, uh, I always leave a link to that in the video description below. Badge the queen up on her pedestal. Was that? And then when you saw it was the puppy, it was okay. <laughs> Did you see that? If you get that, he might have to discipline one of the boys. And then he saw it was Togi here, and he was like, "Oh no, no problem." Beautiful. His top coat's starting to come in. Now along his sides, right here, that's all still uh, undercoat, but uh, up above the uh, the uh, shinier fur is his top coat starting to come in. Which is going to be beautiful when she's done filled out. She looks so much like a wolf. Can't wait to see what her winter coat looks like. I bet it's going to be really thick like badges. Badge, you wouldn't know it now because she's blown it, but uh, she's incredibly thick looking uh, with her winter coat just because it's so dense. I think she's probably got the densest winter coat of all my dogs. So, heard she was trying to steal Toki's piece and he's not letting her. <laughs> Again, you can see they're all pretty, they're doing pretty well with uh, eating peaceably. Again, these pack feedings really teach them uh, their boundaries and it teaches them how to communicate with each other. And again, that transfers over to when we run into 
stray dogs off leash that night and not be socialized that well. You know, if they snap or growl at my dogs, my dog's uh, fight or flight response isn't going to be automatically triggered. And you see that over and over again in my videos when we encounter dogs that uh, aren't always the most well socialized. They, they deal with that really well and they, they blow off, you know, uh, things that those dogs do and just keep moving along with me. Ergen's going to the bathroom over there. I'm going to have to pause this in a second so I can clean that up. It's a big man. You want to get pet? Okay. He's just a big love bug. Like his dad. You all done? All right. Just a moment, I'm uh, gonna clean that up. Now that that's uh, taken care of. So, homie. Toki, Toki, no, don't splash all the water out. He and Badger are the worst regarding that. <laughs> we have their cools turned over right now because I don't uh, want them dropping any of the bones in like, the water, so I guess he's decided to dig in the water bowl. Big goofball. He's so cute, isn't he? Yes, Mr. Kurgan, yes. that that bowen on the other side of him there is not his. Oh boy. Well, again, that's all healthy canine communication. If your dogs ain't biting each other and shaking each other, they're, they're just communicating.
can see Toki has the piece that Kurgan just prevented uh, Kratos from taking. It just shows you how he treats, you know, a younger puppy different than one who's almost a year old. Good boy. Kvar has absolutely no no problem at all chewing through that ear leg bone. Hey, I, I told Toki not to do it. That means Kratos don't do it either. No, no. Thank you. Look at him. He looks guilty even. No. Yeah. <laughs> He's like who me? Who me? He's waiting for me to turn my head so he can go back. Aren't ya? Aren't ya? Naughty boy. You got them both here trying to get, 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 get attention. Nice. Just one moment. Just because there's those who will think there's something wrong with the two dogs because they weren't in the video, I brought out Mr. Lobo and Miss Ulu. They're both doing great. Again, uh, a lot of times I just choose to shoot the video with certain dogs. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with some other dog but uh, occasionally I'll get uh, hyperbolic uh, comments to that effect again they're they're doing all doing great and they all lead around each other great too so that's not why I uh, literally have hundreds of videos of both the dogs eating together uh, with everybody else in the group He's not doing that because Toki is some ultra dominant puppy or something. He, he's just being nice because it's a puppy and this is a pack and the pack lets the kids eat. Stuck in your coat there. Oh, 
see that? That's a burr from this morning's hike. There's a second here. I'm trying to pull it out. There we go. That's one of those uh, burdock or uh, wild rhubarb burrs. Uh, they stick in Lobo's coat like Velcro. I hate them. They, they don't stick in any of my other dog's coats, but they're a pain in the rear to get out of Lobo's. Badge and Kurgan eating off the same piece. Kurgan always seems to have a sweet spot for the badge like I do. He really uh, tolerates a lot of stuff from her that you would typically only see him tolerate from a puppy. Hey, get out the water bowl. <laughs> Kids. Yeah, I saw you. No, not, not you now, Badge. Stop it. No. No, get out. Get out. Get out the water bowl. No, no, thank you. No. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Look at that, she dropped a chunk of something there. She just fished back out. So goofy. I love you too, Kurgan. Look at this. Winter's got like a huge pile of stuff here. She's like a dragon on her throne and not wanting to share anything. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh, you got that one, Badge. Stop rolling on that winter. Winter was rolling her face on the piece she's chewing on. <coughs> Toki trying to tell Badge that's his piece. Badge, Badge doesn't care. Take him up, he's 
Ed says you can have mine. <laughs> Thank you, when I do these pack feedings, I, I like to put out a lot of food because it allows lots of different pieces for the dogs to jostle over and you know you don't have a dog you know hoarding you know if there's only a couple of pieces uh, just those pieces and everybody else going without you know so when you do this especially when you you know first start doing this with your dogs you know I, I recommend putting out more more food than you would need again because then the dogs aren't competing with each other and they learn to become relaxed in this group setting they don't feel like they're going to go without and also because some of this stuff is still you know again that's why these are still in chunks here it's frozen it uh keeps them from being able to wolf it down uh pardon the pun uh real fast and uh you know makes it all last a little longer again the purpose of this is 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 not their meal it, it's more the group interaction the meal is just part of it you know, this isn't what a standard meal looks like. You know, I do this two, three times a week, again, to develop and build a, uh, a healthy pack uh, hierarchy and, you know, to maintain pack cohesion. You know, dogs, after all, ultimately are pack animals. I think they're happiest when they're in a group. You know, whether that group is two dogs or uh, ten, you know. you not to feed your your dogs weight bearing bones you know they're talking about things like cows and uh, bison and stuff like that you know when it comes to a deer leg bone goat you know uh, th those are actually pretty small bones and easy for them to eat which you can see here you know I'm talking about when you're dealing with large dogs like mine of course my Yorkie isn't gonna power through one of those She doesn't care if she'd stop doing it. I can't prevent it. See that Kratos peed there, so Lobo's gonna have to go over and pee on top the spot or pee by it, of course. <laughs> That was important enough to quit eating there to go over and do that, huh, buddy? I guess so. Are you going to go over now and pee on top of it too, Kurgan?
to Sulu. thinks every time I kneel down to, to film, it's me kneeling down to pet him. Now I got Ulu coming in and honing in on it too. <laughs> You can see Toki's getting to be uh, close to uh, Lobo size. Yes, buddy? starting to be able to rip off separate chunks from the pile now. There's all kinds of bits and goodies frozen in there. Let me get the acorn off of there. Toki have his piece. Again, they're pretty tolerant of the, of the young pups. Again, when you when you have all this food around here, you know they uh, they don't really care. enjoyed this video I don't know if somebody's gonna sit through the whole thing but if you did thanks for watching like subscribe and share hit that notification bell down below you'll get uh, email notifications when my new videos come out check out our teespring store we've got uh, all kinds of cool merch on a variety of products it's a good way to support the channel and get something cool in return we also have a uh, PayPal link that's in the video description of all our videos if you want to donate to uh, you know, helping uh, feed the dogs and the Bike and Shepherd Project. There's also a thank you tab uh, right below the video uh, where you can donate through YouTube also. We appreciate you just watching these videos and appreciate it even more if you share them. Uh, that's more than enough, but if you want to do more, uh, that's a way you can do it. Thanks. Bye from me, Kurgan, Kratos, Ulu, Lobo, Winter, Toki and K Bar. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below.